don't need bigger knife. Yeah. Greetings, everybody. We've gathered around the table again today for another quick and hard and fast episode. Whatever combination of it's those quick. words. It's quick this time, too. Yeah. It's not just hard and fast. Well, we'll see about that. It's, That's because it of a skirt, out. but... <laughs> <laughs> I feel targeted. <laughs> not necessarily attacked, but targeted. Well, just so you feel a little bit more targeted, what's in your pocket? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> I said your pocket, not up your skirt. He doesn't have pockets. <laughs> well, the answer is the same. It's the tie light. And that's nature's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're going to get something in it, anyway. It's slim. It's, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Oh, that jipping's no good for anyone, though. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can wave it right <laughs> off of <laughs> <laughs> That's getting edited. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I don't know how I'm planned. I just can edit that. But. We'll see. We'll see. That's um, funny. <laughs> yeah. So I'll go next. Uh, it's an oldie buddy goodie. It's the Gail Bradley. Schmitzy. Very yeah. schmitzy. I haven't used this knife in quite a while, so I figured and it was a good day to carry it. Put so. it back dirty and just left it there for a yeah, while. Yeah. yeah. Why not? <laughs> Have you seen the shape of it? It's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no Jay in corners. Been carrying the Super Freak, because hey. it's a good knife. More M4. Because yep. of the goodness. Yep. Yeah. And the jealousy. I bitch, at <laughs> Nigel. Too. I bitch at Nigel for carrying the same knife way too often, but I agree with him on this one. Yeah, I, it's quite often been in my pocket I mean, since I've gotten it. I did back-to-back -back weeks with the Super Freak mm -hmm. on our filming because I liked it so much, but... Oh yeah, and then there's me. Um, where'd you go? There you go. <laughs> Up there somewhere. I got the uh, Spyderco PPT this week. Carbon fiber, S90. Mm -hmm. The sprint run. The sprint run. Kind of wrong. Uh, it might even be kind of relevant today. Maybe. We'll Perhaps. see about. We'll see. see. Yep. So today, we have a new offering from Benchmade. Well, almost a new offering. It is a variant on the Mini Loco. That guy. <laughs> 1901. <laughs> yep. Um, this version is using 20 CV for the blade. Um, they're calling it the snakeskin micarta, was it? Snakeskin? Rattlesnakes? I think it's snakeskin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And this it's one cool was right? a limited, if I can get it back in the frame there, a limited of 500 for the series. Number? This number is... 399? 399. That's a good number. That it is. Number. Remind me on the coating for the blade. Is that uh, the PVD or...? No, they're nitride... Like the same as the uh, bug out. Okay, oh, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Mm -hmm. As well as the clip is. Yeah. As yes. well. And yeah. the spacers, maybe. It's hard to I tell. Don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. very cool knife. So at a overall length of seven point six two inches, it would take about thirty eight of these knives to equal the length of the world record sturgeon at twenty four feet. Probably take fewer knives if the handle wasn't curved. Yeah, so just gonna put that out there. It's a big I, I like fishing. I like fishing, but no, I'm good. You want to yeah. deal? No, I'm good. That. When you catch a 24 Maybe a foot sturgeon in a river, like, <laughs> it's not even ocean. Yeah, it's insane. It's that insane is. on how big that fish is for the body of water. That, just to scoop out the caviar, and then throw the rest back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty <And> much. Cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, a weight of 4.24 ounces. It would take about 10 of these knives to equal a heavy guinea pig. 10 that of these? That is a heavy guinea pig. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like 42 ounces. Wow. Okay. What's a mid range guinea pig then, I wonder? I don't know. I just want to that, that is the average. Midway between that and zero. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. I just <laughs> used the, the high of the average number, so I wasn't paying attention to the low. That's a big oh. guinea pig. Guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's chunky. That's yeah. that's a meal. That's not a pet. I was just gonna mm -hmm. say, do you think you could be like be well fed off of one of those? It's like a small roast pig. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Like put an apple in its mouth. The main question about that is how much of that weight is the hair? Because uh, they got a lot of hair and it's long. Depends on if it's the long haired one or the the. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so teeth would hold the apple in. I'm just saying the way it works. Beautifully. Yeah. Just burn the hair off and yeah. start from there. I got those little mini oh, apples out in front in the yard right mm -hmm. now. It would yeah. work perfectly. Yeah. Crab apples and a guinea pig. That sounds like a... They're the right size. That's not about the size. <laughs> it's about the seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
And this guy, like we were mentioning, was a limited edition of a regular knife, but the grading and all that we did was for the limited variant, not for the regular production, which we will show off a little bit in the later on in the week video, just to compare and contrast the two a, a bit, I'm sure. But for the grading for this guy, let's keep targeting Joe. Hey, why not? <laughs> um, overall, I gave it a 72. It's got a C+. Plus. Nice. Um, it did a lot of things really well, and I feel, I feel like it fell short in a few. In particular, uh, it's an expensive knife. Mm. Uh, 400 Canadian for this thing, which you're looking at 20 CB and I mean, customize my Carta, so I don't really know where you could go from there, but I mean, it's not blowing me away. Um, aesthetics, I, I like that handle material. I don't really like it on that knife. Um, your mileage may vary, but in particular, so overall, my enthusiasm was kind of low. Um, but yeah. That is fair. I wouldn't complain if you put it in my pocket, but yeah. Paul, what do you got? Oh, we're going this way. Yeah, yeah yep. whatever. I'm going to try it. So I gave it a 64, which is a D. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I'm the hater this week or not. Drops down. Maybe no? You Drops down more? Okay. There's some, drop, there's I'm some glad. haters. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. That's, that's fair. Um, so for the most part, it's kind of sevens and eights across the board from uh, an objective standpoint. Um, kind of where it lost points for me was cost versus materials and um, mm -hmm. cost versus fit and finish. There's a few things we'll definitely get into later on in the week yeah. um, about that. And where it really suffered for me was um, on a personal level, I'm not a huge fan. I, I love 20CV, I love um, micarta. I don't like that micarta on this knife, like Joe right. was saying. Yeah. It, it's great micarta, just not in this application personally. Um, and then enthusiasm kind of fell flat because I knew what the loco was, and I wasn't excited, particularly excited about that one, and I wasn't huge on this when it first. Uh, yeah, yeah. Those wins. Let's keep the hate train going. Indeed, indeed. So yeah, <laughs> um, as per usual, I am the hater of the group. I came down to a sixty-one, Oof. giving it a D. So for We're not far off. Yeah, um, for the objective stuff, it did pretty good, except for the cost versus categories. Mm. Um, as you guys have touched on already, it's. Definitely a little high of, high of a price, and most of that you're paying for is the collector's sake of it, and yeah. Um, it really, really bombed for the personal choices for me. Um, I kind of find this knife ugly. I don't like it. Fair. Um, the, I like the concept of that style of micarta, but I don't find there's enough contrast between the layers, so it's too muddied, mm -hmm. and it just doesn't do it for me. And the ergos of this guy being a very pistol grippy i gave it three for the ergo preference not terribly surprised for you yeah uh, well, lastly me i scored it a 73 which is a c plus back up on the love train a little bit at least <laughs> um and on a good note i think part of why i didn't mind this knife and especially with the micarta handle and the dabble that it has is when the first pitcher came up i I think Benchmade actually doctored the pictures to put them out onto social media, put it onto whatever, and the colors were so crazy poppy, like mm -hmm. it was over the top bling yeah. almost. And when they came in and the colors were actually subdued, uh, subdued quite a bit more, I actually was pleasantly surprised about the fact that it wasn't like blast you in the face color, it was mm -hmm. subdued. It wasn't Timascus craziness. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and I think with the pistol grippy, with the gray blade, with the rattlesnake, I think, or snakeskin, I think this has a very snaky look to it. So whether you like it or whether you don't, I think like that's one of the reasons. So I actually scored it pretty high on like um, enthusiasm. For sure, I gave it an eight on that type of thing because I was like, you know, for what this is, I can appreciate it even if it's not my thing in particular. So, all right. Mm -hmm. On that note, that's yeah. all of us. Yeah, um, here's kind of a quick look at all of the graphs there, just so you all can compare and look between what we gave. And just give you a chance to soak that in. Um, this time around, we're actually not thanking the cutting edge. We're going to be thanking our good buddy, Darren, for letting us play with this knife tonight. You can find him at Stone Wookie. He doesn't post that much, but he posts funny stuff, as well yep. as his, some of his knife stuff as well, yep. if you want to check him out. He's and cool. he has a very cute puppy. <laughs> yes, he does. Yeah. Thank you for trusting us with your uh, $400 loco. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, that being said, Nigel the Smith, signing off. Uh, I am who I am. I'm Dennis Vipers. I am the Iron Joe. And I'm XL.ca. We will catch you again next week.
or next episode. Or next time. <laughs> Some combination of something like that. Some day of this week, later than this one.